Okay, in this video I want to talk about the rational roots test. And the rational roots test is when you have a polynomial, so x raised to some positive whole number, um, whatever coefficient, same thing, and the x's decrease in uh, degree down to some constant. It says if there are rational roots, okay, so polynomials can have roots that aren't rational, but it says if there are rational roots, it says to get them, you basically look at factors of the constant, you look at factors of the leading coefficient, you look at all possibilities, and then plus or, plus or minus that. So I think it's best um, illustrated with an example. So what are the so the question is, what are the possible rational roots of this polynomial? 2x to the third minus 3x squared minus 11x plus 6. So again, basically, it says what you do is you look at the factors of the constant, a sub 0, and then we look at factors of the leading coefficient. So that's our a sub n. You don't have to label them this way, but just to kind of um, correspond to what I had a second ago. If you think about factors of 6, well, factors of 6, we have 1, 2, 3, and 6. And then our factors of 2, well, that's pretty easy. Our factors of 2 are just 1 and 2. And now what we do, it says the possible rational roots And remember, a rational number is just a, a number that can be written as a decimal um, whose, whose, whose either the decimal terminates or the decimal has a repeating pattern to it. That's a rational number. It says the possible rational roots, basically it says you take all possible combinations of the numbers here on the top divided by numbers on the bottom. So I'm going to write them all out and then just get rid of duplicates. <clears throat> so it says you would get positive negative 1 over 1, positive negative 1 over 2 would be a candidate, positive negative 2 over 1, positive negative 2 over 2, positive negative 3 over 1, positive negative 3 over 2, positive negative 6 over 1, positive negative 6 over 2. Okay, these are all the possible rational roots for this polynomial. And again, remember a root is just a number that if we plug it in for x, we'll get 0 out at the end. So let's see what we have. We have 1 over 1, which is 1, 1 over 2, which is a half, 2 over 1 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1, so we already have that, 3 over 1 is 3, we have 3 halves, we have 6, and again, 6 over 2 is 3, so we already have that one listed as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are our possible rational roots. And let's just check and see. Uh, maybe we can figure out what the roots of this polynomial are. So the question could be, is x equals 1 a root? So let's see if x equals 1 is a root. So that means if we plug 1 in, we'll get 2 times 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared minus 11 times 1 plus 6 and the question is does this equal 0 that's what it means to be a root so all we have to do is just simplify this down well 1 cubed is 1 times 2 is 2 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3 minus 11 plus 6 does that equal 0 looks like we get negative 5 minus 11 which is negative 16 plus 6 is negative 10 well that certainly doesn't equal 0 which means um, no x equals 1 is not a root okay so let's check uh, let's check one more and then I'll tell you the solutions and you can you can check them out here because I won't have time to check them all it'll get kind of tedious so maybe we can check is x equals how about positive 3 a root well let's check and see so if we plug 3 in it says f of 3 is 2 times 3 cubed 
minus 3 times 3 squared minus 11 times 3 plus 6. 3 cubed is 27. 27 times 2 is 54. 3 squared <coughs> is 9. 9 times 3 is 27 minus 33 plus 6. Okay, 54 minus 27, that's negative 27 minus 33 plus 6. Well, negative 27 minus 33 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So yes, 3 is a root in this case. And you can actually check, I think my arithmetic was okay here, <coughs> x equals 1 half and x equals negative 2 are also roots. Okay, so in this case my polynomial I set it up to actually have three rational roots, but again that doesn't have to happen at all. Well, one last question, if we know the roots, how does this polynomial factor? Well, if we know the, f the roots, we can factor it as, well, you just take the opposite sign basically, so x minus 1 half is a factor, x plus 2 is a factor, and then x minus 3 would also be a factor. So you can multiply this thing all out. You can multiply this thing all the way back out and check and see that you actually get the very original thing back. Alright, so I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. Hopefully me or somebody else can, uh, can help you out.